What's up, Nerdjig Nation? Russ, the CEO here, and in this video, I'm excited to say that I had the chance to review one of my favorite games thus far, and that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. In this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge review, I will be discussing the story, the gameplay, difficulty, and the characters. I will say at the start of this review that I thoroughly enjoyed this game. In fact, I'd have to say this is the first title I've reviewed that I've given a 10 out of 10. That's right, I spoiled the rating at the very beginning of this video, but stay with me here. You may be wondering why I'm rating this game so high. Well, this review is here to answer that and most importantly explain why Shredder's Revenge is so much fun and why I encourage you to try it if you haven't already. Shredder's Revenge is a simple arcade style game that is set in a beautiful pixel art world. It's available to play on PC via Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, and PS5. As an additional note, this game is currently available on Xbox Game Pass, so that gives Xbox players my first reason to check this out. Now, Shredder's Revenge story isn't too complicated. Shredder, the Ninja Turtles' main and most popular villain, is out to take over the city and get his revenge on the Turtles. It's up to Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello, and a few popular friends to stop him and his various minions. Now, you can play this game by yourself or choose to join up with friends online. Up to six players can join and help each other complete either the story or the arcade modes. At the start, you'll choose which hero to start your journey with and can switch between them later in the game. Now, as you play, you'll unlock additional lives, health, and special abilities to use during battle. You'll need to complete the 16 levels, collect various collectibles, and beat the boss at the very end of each level. Like I've mentioned already, Shredder's Revenge is super easy to jump in and play. You only need to master a few basic movements and button combinations, and you'll be on your way to defeating foes in no time. There are several characters you can choose from in game. Of course, you can play as all of the Ninja Turtles, but you also have the choice between April O'Neil, Blinter, and Casey Jones, the latter of which is unlocked by completing the game's main story. Now, the move sets between each character are virtually identical, but each character's style will differ. They each have their own super moves and special abilities, which can be upgraded through playing in either the story or the arcade modes. Now, I did spend time with each playable character, and a few of my personal favorites were Leonardo, Donatello, April O'Neil, and Casey Jones. Your character choice does not affect the overall story, as it's implied that all of the characters are participating in this battle. I recommend playing with a few different ones from the start to determine which one best suits your playstyle. There really isn't a grind mechanic in this game, so don't worry about whether or not to spend too much time with each individual character. As you play, you'll unlock individual power-ups for each one, but this really is just a small detail and it won't hinder you from having any fun no matter who you select to play with. There are collectibles that can be gathered throughout the levels, so pay attention to any random moving doors and hit many of the objects during the levels to find them as you can get points that count towards your overall character growth and unlocks. All of the levels start out throwing various enemies at you, and at the end, you'll have to complete a boss battle. It's not until the latter part of the game where the format is switched on you, but this really only happens in one level, but I won't tell you which one as I don't want to spoil this for you. As you play through the various levels, the enemies will become more and more challenging. You'll first deal with a variety of ninjas and move on to tougher foes like the robots. Now I really, really hated the robots. All of the enemies you encounter will have some type of pattern or special way to defeat them, and as you play more you'll easily be able to pick this up. Now where the game can get really tough is how many enemies come your way and at what point in the level they appear. My advice is to do your best to not die, as once your lives are depleted, you will have to start the level over. I personally did not find Shorter's Revenge too difficult. Games of this style are generally known for their difficulty, but I only had trouble during the latter levels. Now, once I had the pattern of enemy movements down, I only had to worry about simply not being overwhelmed. Now I am thinking of making a companion video to this one where I will provide tips for new or struggling players. So if you'd like that video, feel free to comment down below. But for this video, I'll leave you with one tip and that is simply to not waste lives if you can help it. 
You'll encounter a boss fight at the end of each level, and these fights are not too difficult, but the key to winning much of these is patience and timing. You will only have a brief moment to attack each boss, and you'll spend the majority of the time dodging. As long as you are patient and take your time, you should be able to defeat the bosses with relative ease. I did enjoy the boss fights overall, the only one that I'd say was a little underwhelming was the final boss fight. I won't mention any spoilers, but I'll say that the final boss seemed much easier than some of the lesser bosses I fought. This doesn't mean that the bosses are simply a wash, you will have to stay on guard, dodge, and nail your timing in order to achieve victory. But the moment you do is so satisfying. I literally felt like a kid again after completing each boss and level, and that feeling is one I haven't felt in playing video games in a very long time. Shredder's Revenge is a game that I really enjoyed and I hope that many of you also check it out. Honestly, I think gamers need games like this, simple yet moderately challenging games that can be enjoyed with friends, and this is the type of game that you can hop on when you need an escape from all the other quests and missions you have in your other games. I was pleasantly surprised by Shredder's Revenge, and this is the reason I've decided to give this game my first 10 out of 10. The only real criticism I have of this game is that it is simply just too short. Thank you all for watching my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge review. Is this a game that you're excited to play after watching this review? Let me know by leaving a comment below this video. Follow Nergenic for more great content and check out the two videos on screen now if you'd like to see more of my gameplay reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.